Hey everyone, this is Riley Haynes and welcome back to my channel. Yesterday, Deadpool and Wolverine, the new Marvel film in the MCU just came out and I went to go see it with some friends of mine and um, it was actually my very first time experiencing a, a Wolverine and Deadpool movie on the big screen and not only that, but but before that, I've actually never seen any of the X-Men or Deadpool or Wolverine movies that from like before the latest installment that 20th Century Fox did. But um, anyway, today I'm going to give you my movie review and my thoughts and opinions on the latest Marvel Cinematic Universe installment, Deadpool and Wolverine. Let me know in the comment section, what did you think of this movie? Did you like it? Did you not like it or are you somewhere in between and also um i've never seen any of the other films in the x-men franchise whether x-men in general or just wolverine or just deadpool so please don't spoil any in the comments but let me know which one is your favorite and please just don't spoil any of those in the comments section but um speaking of speaking of spoilers uh, i'll try not to spoil any of the the um, the new movie if you haven't already seen it but um, I'll just basically just basically I'm just gonna talk about the movie and the characters and the story and everything. So um, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Deadpool and Wolverine just came out yesterday, July 26, 2024, and I'll be honest, I thought this was actually a really good movie. Um, this was actually my very first time, like I said watching a live-action um, movie featuring any of the X-Men characters, and this was a good one in mind, featuring two iconic ones, that being Wolverine and Deadpool in the lead role. And also, this movie is very much like a Deadpool 3, so like a third installment that c that comes after the first two, and the, basically the movie starts off with with Deadpool and you don't get Wolverine until a little bit later down the road, but I also love the fact that how they did the costume design and everything, and especially for Wolverine, because for the first time in a live-action Marvel film, we actually get uh, Wolverine's iconic uh, yellow and blue suit, just like in the comics and 90s X-Men animated show that we've all known for so long, which... Um, this is gonna sound weird, but I've actually never seen the animated X-Men show or read any of the comics. So, um, but yeah, I've seen, I've heard a lot of good things about a lot of X-Men movies, TV shows, and comics, and, and all. But, um, also, I loved, um, I liked that little, uh, there was a little puppy in the movie named Dogpool kind of like a Deadpool dog, only named Dogpool, that I thought was very cute and adorable. Also, if you haven't already seen uh, some of the trailers for this movie, then um, then you see uh, they, they brought back some classic X-Men or Wolverine villains, such as Sabretooth, Wolverine's arch enemy, and also, um, I haven't seen any of the other uh, films in the franchise, so um, correct me if I'm wrong, but were um, introduced to uh, the this new villain, unless she was in any of the other movies, named uh, Cassandra or Cassandra Nova, and uh, and um, also uh, talk about characters. There's a there's a few other um, Marvel characters that show up during the movie, but I'm not gonna spoil any of them. If if you haven't seen the movie already, you can wait and find out when you go see it or wait for it to come out on Blu-ray. And also, I thought the action sequences were were pretty good and and also, I've heard on um I've seen on YouTube about like if you go to some of the of the bigger movie theaters such as AMC or Cinemark for instance, then they have really cool um movie merchandise featuring Wolverine and Deadpool, and they have really cool, uh, themed, uh, popcorn buckets, uh, popcorn bowls, and, and, uh, keychains and all, like seen on the poster, as well as, um, cool, uh, 
uh, drink cups and all. That's really cool. Um, the theater I went to with my with some friends of mine um, had some of those also, but um, I actually didn't get any of those because I didn't want to like spend too much money or whatever. But plus, it's kind of more of like a collector's item, I think, if you're looking to sell like them on eBay. But um, because I remember seeing them some for like Ghostbusters earlier this year. But anyway, overall, I thought this movie was really good. I think it had a nice combination of a little bit comedy with Deadpool and some action at the same time. And um, I think I'm going to give this movie a four and a half out of five. I won't say that it's a masterpiece. It's not the best Marvel movie, but I will say that it's definitely one of the best films in the entire MCU by far in a nice way to bring Wolverine and Deadpool from the Fox X-Men franchise to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and all. Plus another thing I I love how funny it was how Deadpool does some of the narration and all at some parts in the movie but anyway um um, that's pretty much my review and thoughts on this movie, and I hope you all can check it out when you can if you haven't already, and and uh, look forward to getting it on Blu-ray when it comes out. And that is my review on Deadpool and Wolverine. Let me know in the comment section once again what were your thoughts on this movie, and let me know which Wolverine or X-Men or Deadpool film is your favorite in the comment section. And as I did mention earlier, please don't spoil any of the other movies because I haven't seen those yet. But um, I will say that uh, this was a nice introduction to not only the X-Men franchise in general, but a nice introduction to uh, the two Marvel characters, Wolverine and Deadpool, alone. So, um, yeah, uh, I'll have to check out some of the other movies. So, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, and please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time, and God bless.